Nathovorax. Nathovorax is a genus of Hurraceoranthosaurischian dinosaur from the Santa Maria Formation in Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil. The type and only species is Nathovorax cabriari, described by Pacheco et al. in 2019. The type specimen comprises a mostly complete and well-preserved articulated skeleton, considered one of the best Hurraceorant skeletons ever discovered, which fossilized in close association with Rhynchosaur and Cynodont remains. The discovery of this superb specimen has shed light on to poorly understood aspects of Hurraceorant anatomy such as endocranial soft tissues. Discovery The holotype specimen, Kappa UFSM0009, is an almost complete and partially articulated skeleton lacking only portions of the left shoulder girdle and left forelimb. It was found in 2014 at the Marches and site, in the municipality of São João do Policine, Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil. This locality preserved rocks from Santa Maria formation in the Condelaria sequence of the Paraná Basin. The skeleton was fossilized within a mudstone layer, along with small articulated skeletons of prosostrodont cynodonts. This mudstone layer was then covered by a layer of sandstone containing disarticulated rhynchosaur remains. These fossil remains are indicative of a diverse community of animals at marches and stratigraphically correlated beds from a nearby site were dated as the middle of the Carnian stage of the late Triassic, circa 233.23 plus or minus 0.73 million years ago. The monospecific genus was named and described by Christian Pacheco, Rodrigo Tempmola, Max Langer, Flavio Augusto Preto, Leonardo Kerber and Sergio Dias de Silva in an article published in 2019. The generic name is derived from the Greek nathos, jaw, and the Latin vorax, voracious, from voro, devour, plus minus ax, inclined to. The specific epithet was given in honor of Dr. Sergio Furtado Cabrera, the paleontologist who found the specimen. Description Skull There were three teeth in the premaxilla, in contrast to Herosaurus, which possessed four. The contact between the premaxilla and maxilla encompassed two fenestrae, poles a subnarial fenestra which was situated low on the snout and an additional smaller fenestra positioned above it. Dot while a subnarial fenestra is common in Hurraceaurids and theropods, the additional fenestra is unique to Nadhovorex. Like other archosaurs, a small basin known as the antorbital fossa is present in front of the antorbital fenestra. Many early saurians have a hole called the premaxillary fenestra situated on the antorbital fossa, but this hole is absent in Nadhovorex. On the other hand, Nathovorex does possess a characteristic thin ridge edging and additional emargination within the antorbital fossa, a small depression is present between this ridge and the ridge forming the border of the antorbital fossa. The lower branch of the lacrimal is slender and extends to the middle of the lower edge of the orbit, eye socket, similar to Demonosaurus but different from Herosaurus. Most other aspects of the skull, such as the thick squamuzzle, expanded front branch of the ugal, the shape of the infratemporal fenestra, and a lack of palatal teeth, are most similar to Herraceorids among early dinosaurs. Dot. The supraoccipital bone at the top of the brain case is trapezoidal when seen from behind, unlike Herraceorids' triangular supraoccipital, and has a blade like crest on top. The occipital condyle is also thicker, the basioccipital has a V shaped, rather than U shaped, contact with the parabasis phenoid, and the paroccipital processes are larger in Nathovorax compared to Herraceorids. Otherwise, the brain case is similar between the two taxa. The dentary lacks sauropodomorph qualities and instead likely possessed a sliding joint at the chin similar to other Herraceorids, although preservation is not good enough to fully confirm this. The three premaxillary, 19 maxillary, and 14 dentary teeth are all thin, curved, and blade-like. There are serrations on the distal, rear, edge of all the teeth, and the maxillary teeth also have serrations on the mesial, front, edge. Postcrania. The neck is short, with keels along the lower edge of its vertebrae, like other Herraceorids, and long transverse processes, like San Juan Saurus specifically. Dot the dorsal vertebrae are similar to those of other Herraceorids, though the tips of the neural spines are only slightly expanded. As with Herraceorids and most non-dinosaur reptiles, only two vertebrae form the sacrum. However, Nathovorax also has its last dorsal vertebrae encompassed by the ilium, upper hip plate, although its transverse processes are not long enough to contact the ilium, Therefore, it does not qualify as a sacral vertebra. The tail vertebrae are most similar to Herosaurus, with low and elongated zygopophyses, upwards pointing neural spines, and transverse processes which are semicircular in cross section. Nathovorax is the only Herosaurid combining features of the scapula, such as posterior curvature, an expanded tip, and no fusion with the coracoid. 
The rest of the forearm is similar to that of Herosaurus, with a strongly developed elbow area and a long hand. The ilium is short, although it has a pointed front tip in contrast with the rounded front edge of other herosaurids. Nathovorax is the only herosaurid in which the pubis is both sinuous in front view, and projects straight down in side view. The pubis also possesses a large pubic boot with a smooth lower edge, similar to other herosaurids, although it lacks the beveled pubic boot of Storacosaurus. Unlike other herosaurids, but like logopedids, the ischium has a hole known as an obturator foramen at its base. The femoral head is more simple than that of other herosaurids, with a small craniomedial tuber, front inner bump, and no caudomedial tuber, rear inner bump. Otherwise the femur possesses all the muscle attachment sites typical of basal dinosaurs. The tibia is 90% the length of the femur, unlike Storcosaurus which has a longer tibia. The rest of the lower leg is similar to Herosaurus, but the foot has three phalanges, toe bone, in the fifth toe, while Herosaurus only has one. Classification Nathovorax was a member of the Herosauridae, a group of small to medium-sized carnivorous dinosaurs. The paper describing Nathovorax contained a cladistic analysis which argued that the Herosauridae are basal saurischia, outside of the theropoda and sauropodomorpha. Within Herosauridae, Nathovorax was found in a polytomy with Herosaurus and San Juansaurus. Paleobiology the holotype skeleton of Nathovorax is so well preserved that its describers were able to reconstruct a digital endocast of the brain. It possessed a large flocular fossil lobe FFL, of the cerebellum, a portion of the brain generally, but not universally, considered useful for motor control of the eye, head, and neck. These features mean that most paleontologists consider a large FFL to be indicative of an active predatory lifestyle, explaining why it is reduced in later sauropodomorphs but not in most theropods. This soft tissue data provided by Nathovorax is congruent with other evidence for carnivory in herosaurids, such as the structure of their teeth and claws. The tooth proportions of herosaurids and basal carnivorous sauropodomorphs each overlap slightly with theropods according to a morphological variation analysis, but herosaurids and sauropodomorphs do not overlap with each other. It is inferred that during the Carnian stage of the Triassic, herosaurids occupied large predatory niches while small basal sauropodomorphs occupied small carnivorous and omnivorous niches. After the extinction of herosaurids and carnivorous sauropodomorphs in the Norian, Theropods became the dominant predatory dinosaurs at multiple sized tiers, encouraging sauropodomorphs to acquire larger, more herbivory-focused ecologies. Gallery